Make sure to check out my Patreon if you want access to the best club tags across all regions. Different kind of student today. I was going to do some coaching sessions. Unfortunately, I think I only got like three people, but that's better than none, right? Hello. Hey, man. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Sounds good. So what server are you on? Uh, NA. All right. And live or VOD? Uh, live. All right. So just hop in queue. Toss me a link to your OPGG. So mostly toys, right? Yeah. Just a rat IRL fan? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what issues do you mostly have so far playing Twitch jungle? So the only thing I really run to is, uh, I don't know what to do. Like after like a successful gank or something, like I know if I'm ahead, then I probably shouldn't be, uh, you know, farming. I should be farming champions more than camps. Right. But like if I don't get ahead, I'm not really sure what to do because uh, his clears are really trash. Yeah. We open up your in page. Maybe you can try Bloodline and you can maybe try to play objective centered and camp centered gameplay, but I don't know how you play the game, so I don't know if that's like your best bet. Alacrity is uh, just like the best possible early game, right? If extra three percent attack speed. Potential yeah, better clearing totally ganks, game. but Yeah, I I non stop gank, honestly. I see. Well, they're pretty tanky this game. I think cut down's better, but again, you'll just drop from your now, early game damage. But that's up to personal preference, right? Hmm. They're pretty damn tanky though. You won't really do much damage to them with good grass at a certain stage you fall behind. Yeah, okay. that, look, that looks fine. All right, so we're blue side. So you're telling me you're gonna gank either mid or bot, right? Uh, yeah. And at this elo, mostly um, jungler start bot side as well. So honestly, I think Uder does have pretty fast clear, so it'd be really potentially harder to get to his ground, but if you see the opportunity, maybe just walk walk with your team to his blue, or just blue and see how fast or slow he does it, and then see if you have an opportunity to actually, like, instead of going for a gank, try to invade him at his ground. I think that's a good alternative if you have no actual ganks. Just have the potential option open. Okay. Unfortunately, Twitch doesn't have really any wall hops, so they can't, like, jump over the dragon pit together faster, but... I mean, this is piss slow, so this guy probably doesn't know how to clear properly or as fast as possible. So there's a chance it could work out too. And the only goal here is to actually get a warrior. We're not trying to get a kill because our level one is really bad. But okay. you will be able to get a lot of free words the lower elo you are. Not many people five pointer are in AFK and Fountain like your team is basically. Doesn't matter, you can walk through Dragon. Look, yeah. And just word like right here? You just word as blue. Okay. Like anywhere in the open. There you go. I just reset. You're fine. I think the DPS is a bit better on cube, I'm not sure. I don't play the champ, so. Okay, anyways, I wanna keep quiet a bit. He does have Conqueror, so like he's pretty pretty weak early, unless you walk into him. But he's right. gonna start blue most likely, so keep an eye on his blue, see how slow he does it, and then You're in the jungle now, baby. see if you can alternate to either the gank or the potential gromp invade we, went, we just spoke about. Lucian's walking through mid, so. Yeah, just go back with your early idea. Uh, a bit unfortunate. So at this point, we should be on wolves or blue if he did gromp. Or I mean red, sorry. I mean, actually, NASA's did war top, so his ward's kind of weird. Probably gonna go top if she pushes in. Yeah. Not the best idea, but because we know Udyr's top side, you guys probably at least hard two v two. You're in the jungle now, baby. Can you look for a lane gank? Yeah. His stuns down. Nice. Should do a gromp here. Okay. There's not much else action on the map unless you want to go back top, that or that. Maybe just walk behind him. Ping on the way. It's a dodge stun probably. I think you s it's like really close. I think you get him if you flash auto you. That works too. Alright, I'll just shove him top. 
Shove it in. He has no mana, and I realize no TP, so I just want to shove. So you can just recall right now, right? So my double dagger, or go do your gromp, or just I'd say yeah, just recall and just run top side again. I go red right smite as well. So what's your plan now? Where are you pathing towards? Uh, uh, I'm assuming you just used ult, so. You can probably kill with Shinker Pot, just in case. I think you lose. You're tanking the creep. You have to flash auto you. Uh, one auto you, nice. Two all causes TPing, so you can probably just push in the wave. Just be careful about it here. Should be finishing his blue side. I just run top, yeah. Uh, fruit's up as well. You should probably grab that just in case. Do you know the timer for fruit spawns? Actually, no, I was about to ask that. It's about 6.07. You might have a pink. Uh, no pink. Should be free kill. Just let Nasus yeah. initiate, because he might hit 6 off this wave. Smite him. Nice. I think you have jungle item, right? Just reset. Yeah. Okay, you can probably just go topside and do rift or take his red. Okay. There's no transition gank mid, so you just walk through your jungle, don't show. Okay. So I do blue and probably just run to his red side. Uh, he's going to his red, isn't he? Yeah, so you can just kill him, no? Look at your items, look at his items, because level. I think he's level 6, right? Yeah. Just drop a, a pink on his like red side. Like the brush you're entering. And walk right towards here. the left, yeah. He's probably in raptors right now, or reset, or just in red. There he is. I didn't need a hole. Oh. Yeah. Just do rift here. Yeah, leave that up. Hallow's top tower, Hallow's mid tower. While you're doing this, obviously. Just run top side. How how low is the tower? It's like mm, you can probably right. try. Just wait in the brush, wait in the brush, like top side brush, lane brush. Yeah, if you kill him you get tower, so it's better just go for the potential play. I think you maybe should, I'm not sure though. I'm pretty sure you really saw me. Did I still drop rift? Hmm. Let's just see if he reset or not. No, he's there. You can probably just stealth on him, chunk him, then go for tower maybe. You might have to ult though, because they're not going to do dragon, so this cross map play is pretty, still good. Yeah, that's, that's really good. I'll just break tower. But Malfoy can roam, obviously. I got him. Okay, that's good. Good tower. Get it to two and a half. Oh. It's not what I meant, but I think it's okay. Actually, it's good. Now, with uh, the enemy bot lane being fed, would I try to gank them? Um, If you can kill them, yeah. <laughs> okay. If it's not in your favor, since your bot already lost 2v2, it's not the best to go bot side. That's why we're playing cross map, and we got a tower before them, and we're okay. a lot of, we're up a lot of gold on them. Just our bot lane's kind of garbage. I wish your main bot can kill them. Yeah, you just have R. They might try to fight, so just be there, yeah. Oh, there's Leona. There you go. Right. So I'm just walk to your right side and sweep. Crab's up in 20. You probably have deep wards because your bot is getting smashed. Just press tab with timer on our caps. Just do Krugs into red, probably. Do you go Bork or what's your item? Uh, Next is going to be Hurricane. It says Zeal's 1100, right? Yeah. We do his top side. He took his red, right? So his red's probably up if he doesn't have it, which he doesn't. So I can probably just try to kill him at red. Maybe he's gonna walk through like the bot side entrance. That's a ping. Ah. It's still take it. I can drop your pink deeper, like where you just clear that one. In case you can see him coming, yeah. Go for top tower until Krug spawn. Get a few autos in. Probably can break it actually as Nasus is so fed. Actually, it's probably gone. And Rift hit it earlier. Yeah. There you go. Now wait for his Krugs. Being 240 gold for Hurricane, right? Uh. No, just like 75 gold or 25 gold. I have it, okay. I don't even know how that item builds anymore. So can go buy your hurricane. Then run top side for rift. What Drake? What soul is it this game? Uh okay. Mountain. And just buy a pink. Probably play for this Drake though. We're at a stage where we're pretty fed two items. We do so, zero. Try to get Nasus to play and, for Drake. Drake and Rift come up at the same time. I should still go for Rift. If you can get Nasus to come to Dragon, the play is Dragon, right? Jungle on top are so fed. 
But if you can get him to come to Dragon, you have to type type to him, obviously. Let him know, like, if you want to play for this Dragon. But you can also just do the Rift right now, in case you don't want to go for that risk. I'd say the proper play oh, is just we'll do Rift. The bottom. Yeah, I'm going to try to kill Dilution if he's transitioning. I'll just run bot. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> Alright. So now I'll use your Sweeper. You declare some vision. If there's any. Well, there's I got you kill him. He's dead. Nice. Okay. Is this rat IRL? My god. Support still balanced as I see. Now do dragon. You just go IE now? Yeah. So do your Krugs or be actually do your Raptors since Nasus is taking them. Your Raptors should give you almost BF. Or you can just transition gank mid, but yeah, there's no R, you can probably look. I don't think we killed oh. Nice. That's perfect. We don't need to overextend. No, no, no. No. No, okay. We just want our item. Look how much gold you have. Red's up in 40. Rift's up. So yeah, just probably go top side. You don't really... You can probably do your blue side camps for almost 12, but... You can also just do your blue side. Wait for ra r r crap to spawn then do Rift. I'm trying to bait that the Malfoy R. You can fight this. I really is bottom. Just play slow. Worst case scenario just flashes R. Go do your red. There's nothing that's gonna happen here. Alright, well, they can rotate, but just do your red real fast and maybe look bot if she keeps pushing. Do you have your red or not? I don't know. No, he yeah, does. Just go out earlier or push the wave. If you flush, actually, no, I think I think just kill him. I fuck you. Right, keep pushing bot. Right, push one more wave bot and then let's go for uh. Let's force them to come to us, drop Rift. Not yet, but after you're pushing the wave. How low is the tower? Uh, pretty low. Uh, what, 75? No, Solution's dead, so two-man two, two -man power play. Press tab. Okay, I really is useless, even if he does TP, so we just shove it. Just use it? No, break tower first, since this tower is really squishy, she's gonna die anyways. Oh my All right, God. so no. Wait for your passive. You're gonna hang tower. So passive. All right, just reset. Let's see. All right, I'll bat 340. Cut down at 20 minutes. It's gonna start amping up now. Bit risky, but you can try to chunk them. There's two people top. Okay. Good nice. Splash. Now just push in a wave mid. See how many people show top. Okay. Well, Nasus dead, so I don't know. I saw two people top. Yeah, but Malphite has R, I'm pretty sure, so... Actually, like, no, just drop Rift now, since he TP'd. Yeah, Malphite's right here. Yeah. Yep. You should wipe them. Nice. You can probably get tower to... It's gonna get chunked. As long as the charge goes on, just go to bot topside jungle. You don't have to go for tower, but... Yeah, just go oh, topside. Bot side. Drop a pink. Now uh -huh. just go push out top. Since no one else is approaching top, you can just stealth in and push it. Everyone's on the map. For dragon spawns. People are saying you aren't silver too, is that true? I am definitely silver. <laughs> so is this the best game of your life or what's going no, on? No, this is usually how my games go actually. <laughs> okay. You should have pushed another way top, I think, but it's okay. They used a lot, so you can probably clean up if they overstay. You have ult up on this wave. Yeah, just stealth then. He's kind of selling the edit issue here, but we can probably just keep going. Bye bye. You can keep going, they're on the map. I guess should not be allowed to do that, unless Aurelia is here. But I think even that you would TV one if you smite Aurelia. Oh, you're fine. Ooh. Oh, he has R. I guess you're not fine. Ah, I thought he used R in that fight. The death is fine, they get nothing out of it. Just try to grab red. Okay. And play for Baron side, I guess. How long till soul? Mm, three minutes. Remember, Malphite always has Zanya, so if you go for him, probably just wait for him to engage on your teammates. If you can one shot you like that. Mm, probably has R back up. But if Velka has, you can probably go. Go, go. Smite. Uh. Oh, okay. You can either wait for your zeal or just sell your dagger. 
buy your zeal. I'd probably just sell dagger, buy zeal, get some pings, because this game's gonna come down to objectives probably. And you guys hard out scale, so it doesn't really matter, but teammates are kinda off that spot. Maybe look bot. He just ulted. For sure he ulted. Okay, he's fully true. Never mind. Yeah, he's pretty tanky. <laughs> Maybe try to go to the red. I think Lucian might, or Udyr might be at red. Maybe try to stealth transition through mid and go to red. It just spawned. Hopefully no pink wards. Yeah, so Udyr is probably in red right now. Maybe kill him. It is 4v4. But Malfa has no R. You can probably try to kill them under tower, no? Your teammates walk up. You might dash in. Oh man. That's good, that's good. Good, good. Oh, you I got him. The really, yeah. yeah. Just keep hiding. You should be fine. Smite someone? Oh. Why did Nessus go out? <laughs> I think we need to abort this game. So relax, sustain, and probably lose soul here. You think it's too late to go Bork? Like sell my zeal and go Bork? No, like just buy a Bamp okay. Scepter and go Bork, you think? Or. I don't play the champ, so I don't know the like the what's happening right now. I don't know. They don't really have tabbies, so I, I only really you uh, go Borg if they have tabbies. How does that work, though? I don't know. I hear Rhett say it a lot, <laughs> so that's one Borg. reason why I would go Borg is if they were tabbies. Doesn't Borg counter HP stack and then armor pen counters armor? Here he's right here. I'm waiting for my Q to come up. Yeah. Ooh, oh, hello. Shit. Goodbye. <laughs> Bit unfortunate. It doesn't look that bad. If Nasus can kill anyone. Oh my god. Okay. You're in the jungle now, baby. Why not go for the Lucian? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. Oh yeah. We win the sustain fights, so that's good. Whatever that item's called. Okay, go Baron. Oh, just pamping Baron. Now, yeah. Just pamping Baron, no? I guess. I think you guys can do it, but someone's um. Or just shove in mid a few ways and I don't know. There's not much else you guys can do. I think you and Ask can basically do it, so. Can probably try. Or just try to catch Udyr out. That works too. Maybe stealth onto him. What is press that? What are his items? Okay, he doesn't have that much armor or Zanyas. He still hasn't done anything with the- Alright, Udyr has no flash. You can't get into the pit unless there's a boss. Can remember that? Yeah, he flashed no, on you. Oh, Malphite's here. Try to finish it. Just finish. Just finish. Just finish. Oh, God. You should be fine. I think you have it. Nice. Bosskin was up to and he still outsmited him. Good shit. You win this. You win this. Play slow. Just wait for Lucian to walk over. Extended, maybe. It's just shoving mid, just, just push in. Yeah, Sona's kinda oom though. Um I do bot crab and just buy a vamp scepter. Oh. It's gone. Maybe look for Leona? Or just push in the wave she's pushing. Just push in two ways bot. I guess that can work too, maybe. <laughs> I almost got solo killed by her, my god. If you're gonna get hit by CC by Elixir of Iron, if you're gonna DPS by the Red Pot, yeah. Depends on how confident you are. Now just get your whole team to come mid. This is how you win a low piss low. Just five man group mid. Since your team fights better, they're gonna engage no matter what, so. Okay. Maybe just do a few camps before your ults up, like Raptors or something. Udyr's top, Lucian's bot. Okay, now you'll be able to kite a lot better and it's just out sustain their burst. So as long as you survive, just remember kite backwards, not forward. You should just try to push in a wave top if you can, but I, th I think at this elo is a lot riskier because your team is just going to die. Okay, but what do I do in the situations where my team just not want the group? Um, that's... That's not really up to you. It's team play, but you can try to just put split push, split uh, pressure. We'll talk about that later. Just focus on your game for now. Try to win it. Check on Lucian if you can. Mm. Okay, I fucking hit my flash, but okay. I think Nasus is unkillable, so I think mm -hmm. it's no, there's no way they die, right? It's kind of close. All right, now just spamping Elder. Tell them to reset by your cut list and just try to Elder. You should push in a few ways, bot in if you can. If Velkaz doesn't push it in, 
Okay, they're going top side. This should be free. Yeah. Yeah, just play for bot side. Okay, you finally did something. Nice. That guy's probably dead to Elder. There we go. And I can just probably <laughs> shove out mid or rotate bot. Here. If you can snipe, I think you're gonna one-shot that kid. Uh, just hit towers. Should be fine. Ooh. Okay. Not bad, but definitely a lot to uh, improve on. And that's why we're here. Alright, so we got our... In theory, like, even though you get your lanes ahead, it won't always be in your favor. Like, this Nasus ended up being huge because you got him really ahead. Mm -hmm. But that, you gotta understand that won't always happen. Some people are still gonna be dead at weight and lose lane with several kills, but... In general, you had a pretty solid early mid game, and... I think your fighting would have been a lot better if you actually itemized properly. I mean, I understand Rad goes for this build, but I think it's a lot more situational. Like this game, they had what, four melee champions that were health stackers. I think getting the Bork on top of the cutdown would be a lot more efficient. I think the fact that you even had cutdown for my suggestion was a pretty big deal. It actually did a lot more than you thought. So if you have games like these where you see a lot of health stackers, Irelia, Leona, Malphite, Udyr, like, Bork with cut down will be a lot more oppressive than just building full out crit because they're all going to build tanky anyways and you won't do as much damage just on your crits as you will like just basically basically on hit IMO. I don't know. I don't play Twitch, but okay. if I'm playing Kindred this game, I'd be, I'll do the exact same thing. Cut down into Bork after Blood Razor. So you start red. I tell you to ward their blue. Somehow like this <laughs> Silver Lucian bought a red string to clear your ward so you can see how fast he actually did a blue buff, but that's okay. And he actually... Someone dropped the word out there, so interesting. But yeah, we gank mid here. Now let's look at the gank. Why do you think this gank works? <laughs> because he walked up. <laughs> Why do you think he walked up the? Uh, to see us. Yeah. So when you're against melee champs that aren't using their spells to last hit, you just want to look at the creep HP, right? Right. Unless this guy is not greedy, he cues the creep because he he, can, he should always be on the guard of a level two Twitch gank. It's all Twitch is good for, right? But this is why, like, at this elo twitch can work. Yeah, so just be ready for the last hit. Walks up the last hit. And just like that, you chunk him to half. So... I feel like some fights you kite forward and some fights you fight for backwards. Like, this is a fight you should be kiting forward. He's level 2 mouth. He's level 1 Malfoy, level 2 twitch, right? And you should right. also drink your pot before the actual gank and during the creep aggro. So for here, I think you should be walking diagonally towards him, not towards like your tower. You see that? Because okay. once if he's walking this way, it's in closer to you rather than further. So you always want to walk in like a more horizontal line. Do you see my mouse cursor? Yeah. Because when you walk like this, it's like your your auto attack range is like somewhere like this, but it could be like the radius would be a lot more stretched towards like the direction he's walking towards. Okay. Yeah. Also, I think if you have PTA here, he's hundred percent dead. But you know. The LT scales better, but you know, it's all preference. So, so here we want to kite forward. This guy cannot kill, he's level one Malphite, unless he has an E. But you oh, see I that, see, okay. you see that yeah. pathing backwards because here you trade flash for flash and you kill him 100%. So then we notice top side is also pushing towards us, and again, another melee melee matchup. These are the easiest lanes to gank in the game for junglers. Junglers should always pay attention to melee melee matchups. People have to walk up to last hit, as you see, and they just, if they want to trade, they have to be in each other's faces to auto attack, right? right. So these are always the lanes I recommend to gank, and I like the fact that you path towards top, and now you're going to go for like a level 2 gank on your Sona Kaiser lane. Go top. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. And free kill, nice. So I really just have TP, and the wave is shoving towards Nasus, so you can probably just return gank this lane. If, this, if he does freeze, which he does do, end up doing, so there's a teleport, he has to shove this in. We just want to rush level 3. Wave's a bit too big for a gang, so like the timing on this is very good, but I don't know if it's like intentional, right? Did you... Right. If if you were like greedy, just walk back top and the gank wouldn't work. 
because the creeper is too big and it really just has a reset plus items. So doing the crab here is a proper play, but I don't know if it's, again, is that intentional or are you actually looking the lane state? Wait, like lane camp? The lane state, like where the wave is, how big it is, etc. Honestly, I didn't uh, look at that. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. Another thing we have to mention, your W's. Twitch has one skill shot and it's a pretty big AoE skill shot. We can't afford to miss W's. I think you missed like 40% of your W's or 30% the entire game. Hmm. So to work on those. So here I say, okay, the wave is, I mean, again, melee, melee matchup. This guy has no flash. You just burned his flash. Probably look again top. You drop your stealth. And he does this. So I told you to do this, but I don't know. Would you go for this regank? Is this like yeah, a- Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, I, I like to camp lanes that I uh, gank successfully. Now, this is a very important thing to take into account. Our top lane has no teleport, right? He's off Spellbook, but no teleport right now. And you're, you're gonna leave this lane like this. What would happen? He wouldn't push it in in time? Yeah, and it would freeze in a really bad spot for him. So, right. lanes are symmetrical. This lane is, or a wave, and then this wave is here. So, you need to push in these next two waves with him, which I tell you to do. But if I didn't tell you to do it, it wouldn't have happened, probably. And by then, the wave would have been frozen in like somewhere around here, and then NASA would have to reset because he has no mana. So, right. if you have these weak early game champs with no mana, no teleports after killing a lane or pushing them out of lane, it's just sometimes better to share the XP in gold rather than not have it ever crash it or tower than enemy jungler coming or, you know, mid lane or TPing or something, right? It's just always in your best interest to help them shove out the wave if they can't. That's one of the most important things. You should always, like, know when to shove and when to not shove. Yeah, you need to press tab a lot more. Talk to your teammates. If you're giving up bot side drakes early, like, let your Nasus know we're going to fight the third or fourth drake because you got him so ahead, right? Top super ahead, you're ahead. And our bot's getting smashed, so it's like, we need to know which drake we're going to fight for, and that's your call, the jungler, so. I know in, in lower elos, it's hard to get people on the same page as you, but just, like, the consistently getting in, like into that mindset of knowing like you have to tell them what to do is going to be very impactful i think and a good asset to have as a jungler okay we just saw udir hold mid look at his items he has an amp to him you have a full jungle item on him we have right. two options here right first i tell you grab your blue buff get your level power spike always when you're like a, one camp off or two camps you can do really fast based all the timers of like the roaming and where the enemy jungler is going the laners are going just get those two camps out of the way or one camp get your level up and then go back on the map a bit stronger the thing is here we see reader has blue buff i know he started blue and based off your blue blue timer and his red timer you know his red buff is up right right so i tell you to invade his red if i didn't tell you to invade red would you admit red probably not right right so we need to like again malphite went top he ulted Velkaz is pushing mid, we have mid priority, this guy's most likely to reset, he's really um on mana. So this is a perfect opportunity to go in, because this is not like a global champ, it's not a Shen or anything. And look how much stronger you are than him. Like, You only have like 800 gold on him, but you're up a level, and you have your jungle item, so it's massive, massive power spike for you. You always want like to bully them in jungle at this stage, even if it's Udyr into Twitch, we should, it should never really have this big of a lead on him, but you do, so. You walk topside, you face check, see you, and free kill. So understand that second buff timer on your second rotation. If you if you're blue side and you're going this to this, odds are his buff here is up. And if you got your top laner ahead and your mid laner ahead, which you did, this is potentially at your advantage to go for. Do you understand that concept? Right. Whereas going for this, like red after blue, let's say he's like holding mid or something, he has no buffs, and then you know he's gonna go to blue after it. It's a bit harder because your boss getting smashed, right? Mm -hmm. But since you got your mid and top so ahead, playing for this side, the, this quadrant of the map's a lot more efficient and a lot less risky. No, oh, I actually never oh, saw you. Okay. Interesting. Close though. It was pretty close. You should always be in this brush for a lane gank if it's safer, but the higher you go, the better people are that you're gonna start warding lane brushes rather than um, river brushes. So just Good. lane ganks in general are really underestimated and they're really efficient. So here you just, like we waited 20 seconds for this gank and it's just so rewarding if you kill the guy and we end up killing him. And we know Udyr is going to prioritize dragons. That's what every Udyr player and new new players do. This is why going for this play is a lot more efficient. You understand that concept? 
Right. If you can't go for Drake's, you don't have to. So it's like people ask me, like, I can't go for Drake's. My bot lane sucks. My mid laner sucks. What do I do? Just play top side, play for Rift, and get a kill top. It's 2v1 if you know where he is. And we know where he is. So. Okay. Look how much gold you're about to get from me. First of all, you got to kill. And typically, you want to drop your Rift at like two and a half plates. But since you have so much attack speed and you're so ahead, and then masses his towers pretty fast, this is fine to drop it here ASAP. Let's see how much gold we get from this. 160. You got basically 1k gold off that entire play top, and you open the map up, and you're up 1500 gold at 10 minutes. So yes, Drakes are nice, but they're not the end of the world until the third and fourth hit, right? So right. you know not you now know how to play top side if your bot side sucks. And I mean, look how fed you got off of it. That's actually uh, one of the problems I run into a lot is the bot lane usually, you know, going 0-4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we go bot. I'm pretty sure you kill Yona here. He's our first flash of the game for 7 kill, not bad. Other than that, I mean, there's not really... That's like how you want to play the early to mid game. Yeah, other than that, anything Probably else you want to go over? Here. Anything else or are we good? Uh, yeah, I think we're good. All right, well, update me. Let me know how it goes. If you have any other questions between now and the future, just feel free to ask. Always here to help. Okay, cool. And have a good weekend, man. Take care. Good luck. You too.